Hi, it's Bob again with FixMyPlayStation.com and tonight we're going to show you how to replace a PlayStation 3's single eye 400A model laser. The 400A model laser is found in PlayStation 3 models A01, B01, uh, E01 through G01. After the G you get into the H's and they tend to have the 410 uh, model dual eye laser, but this is going to have a single eye laser. This actually came out of a G model, but uh, the drives all look the same. We've removed the, the, uh, the disk drive from the machine. It refer to our other videos to show you how to open the machine and just pull the drive out. We show that in the, uh, among others, in the video that shows how to clean your heat sink. So we're going to jump ahead. We've already got the disk drive out, and we're going to flip it on its back. All we need for this is either a, a double zero size or triple zero size Phillips head screw, uh, screwdriver. We're going to remove one, two, three, four, five screws. Two silver screws are toward the rear of the drive. One has a, it's different in different models, but uh, this has one little bracing spring here at the back. Two silver screws at the back. Three black screws at the front. Sorry I don't have an automatic screwdriver for this one guys. I got a lot of compliments on my yellow light of death prevention video because I didn't waste everybody's time pulling out 30 screws with a manual screwdriver. So we got the five screws out to remove the outer aluminum cover. That just comes off. We set that aside. Now we've got the disk drive itself. And the disk drive itself has another plastic cover on the outside. And we have one, two, three, four, five black screws holding the inner plastic cover on. We'll remove those. These are the same size screws as the three black screws on the bottom of the drive. So don't worry about getting those mixed up. It's just those two silver screws that you have to remember go toward the back of the drive. If you forget any of that, go back the beginning of the video again and just check out where we took the screws out. I kind of go fast here. I don't like long videos. Neither does YouTube so we try and go quickly here. We remove the spindle cap, the magnetic spindle cap and don't forget to put that back on there when we're done or the drive won't work. So we set the spindle cap aside and we lift off the cover of the drive very carefully. It's connected to the bottom of the drive by these tiny, tiny wires that connect to the electric eye up here, the sensor that tells the machine that there's a disc coming in. So we lift the top of the drive off very carefully to the left. Don't yank it up. Take it, take your time. Very gently lay it over to the side. That little sticker under there will hold this on well. Okay. Now if you want you take your canned air, your air compressor and spray out the dust. There's really not usually a lot of dust inside these disc drives. In this case is the same. It's, it's really pretty clean. There's not hardly any dust in here at all. So let's get right to removing the laser. Here's our laser here. Single eye, 400A model laser. They're sold retail, you know, a few places online. You might find them on eBay. Just make sure you buy from somebody reputable. What we want to do is we want to just remove these two mounting screws and these metal mounting brackets. If anybody's opened up a Slim PlayStation 2, it's a very similar mechanism. Two tiny screws hold these little spring brackets in place. And we lift up. Hopefully all this will show on the camera. I'm going to use tweezers this time to show you. Pull out. Yeah, easier said than done. We're going to pull out these two metal brackets here. Let's see. These little buggers don't want to let go sometimes. There we go. There's one and two. And then we're going to lift the laser up by this metal rail. Pull the laser out. Take the rail out. We're going to carefully loosen this black plastic clip. Use your fingernail or a tiny flathead screw. Don't break that. Well, in this case, if you're going to turn your laser and some people trade them in, don't try not to break that interface. Otherwise, who really cares? Now, this is the 400A laser. When you buy a new laser, sometimes the new laser does not come with two things. This white 
spring-loaded laser gear on the right side of the laser. Sometimes that doesn't come on the new laser, so you'll remove this one little screw and transfer this spring, this, uh, this gear, to the new laser. And then look on the left side, and there's this little, hopefully you can see it here, there's this little, I call it a bayonet. It's a little spring, it's a little guide. Uh, that has to go on the new laser. Most of them come with it, but they don't. Again, there's one little screw here you remove, pull the bayonet off, transfer it to the other laser. So just make sure your new laser has the white plastic gear and the little metal bayonet. Now for the interest, interest of time, I'm just going to replace this laser back in the same drive just to show you how it goes. What we usually do is we take the ribbon, laser ribbon, slide it into the white plastic interface, and then Close the plastic clip. Make sure that that blue is the little blue marker is pretty evenly spaced in there. We're going to slide in our metal guide rail. Now here's the only trick. Watch that little bayonet here. What we're going to do is we want this plastic piece here to ride on top of this left rail. We want the bayonet to go under the rail. So we're going to hopefully you can see this. We're going to slide the white plastic part on top of the rail but the bayonet we're going to push under the rail. There we go. So the bayonet's underneath, the white plastic part's on top, and then we lay the right rail into the same little slot that it came out of. There we go. And then we're just going to replace these brackets. And It's kind of easy to see. They're, they're different. They're mirror opposites of each other. So one fits toward the back, one fits toward the front, you know, take your time when you're taking it apart, pay attention where things are. And then we replace the tiny black screws that hold that in place, hold each of these spring brackets in place. Okay, the laser has been replaced, pretending this is our brand new laser. Again, you can clean this. You might take a Q-tip and some alcohol and just clean your spindle wheel. It's got a rubber gasket on here. Sometimes that gets dusty and doesn't grip as nice. You might clean that with some alcohol. And then we're going to lay the cover back on, put the spindle cap back in position, and now we're going to replace our five inner screws. Remember, they're metal screws going into a plastic drive. Don't go crazy. Just snug them in. That's all they need to be. This isn't the space shuttle. You're not trying to hold the heat tiles on. Pretty much everything in a PlayStation is like that. You can go crazy with the screwdriver and you end up breaking something. So we have the five screws back in place on the inside. Take our metal cover. PlayStation 2 laser stuck to it. And then we hook the bottom front of the outer cover over the bottom. Lay the drive into it, and now those three little tabs are on the outside where they should be. Put our black screws back in, followed by the silver screws in the back. Remember the only trick with the silver screw in the back is that usually, sometimes different screws also have those same little metal springs on them. They just kind of, they're basically just to, they're like a shim, they just help help the drive balance in there. In this case, when there's one, it's usually on this back silver screw, but just pay attention to which one they came out of. If you, if you forget, if you separate the, the uh, little shim from the screws, to be honest, I don't believe it's totally necessary, but it just probably helps the drive sit there a little more evenly. Screws are back in, outer cover's back on, we're in business, and that is how to replace the 400A model laser in the PlayStation 3.